Hi guys, it's Harvey from All Parts Born Spa. Um, number one, I wish um, everybody stopped using my Gmail account. I really don't use Gmail account. I'm surprised they got this one. But anyway, it's a question about a natural gas Stay Right SR200 basically. Uh, it fires up, well it doesn't fire up, tries to fire up three times. That's the default. They'll try to fire up for three times. All right, any suggestions? Well, it could be as simple as, do you have gas? Do you have all your gas valves turned on? Okay. But this doesn't, this right here is so general, not knocking, you know, the poor young lady, she probably doesn't know. But here's a picture of, I can't see, can I, picture of top of, that's a stay right heater. All right. Top of the stay right heater. Now this is an old cheat card. You have the top. It's physically on top that you physically see. You know, service heater light comes on. Your temperatures and everything else like that. Well, if you remove the four screws and take the cabinet off, take the two carter pins out if you still have them there, and take this very top that has like five prongs to it and just pry it loose, you get in back of, let's see, do I have it right? No, I don't. You have in back of the board. Now, stay right is very smart. After this has all been done, okay, you open it up where you have it opened, and you look for these magic codes, okay? And these codes will tell you where to look. This is a cheat sheet that I got many years ago. I show you not numerous times. You just go and it'll tell you suggestions what to look. Basically, you still have you know, service heater, service system. Okay? These are your two main lights. Give you a real quick scenario that I can tell you. Service system means to tell you that it's not detecting flow. Why not? Filter needs backwashing, pumps not running, bowl valves turned off, pressure switch is bad, um, all kinds of things. You maybe have the bypass valve on. Um, that's a common one. When it comes to service, service heater, all right, is nothing you can do. You have to let it do its job. Do not turn it off. Be careful. You're dealing with voltage. Okay, let's see. Um, and look in back of the board. And then in back of the board, it'll tell you what is lit up. And then go to your service manual and go step by step by step by step. At certain times, you on a stay right, you are going to need a couple of things. I am going to start selling them. I'm going to, you need a positive. Do I have my positive and negative manometer here? So, oh yes, I do. You need your positive and negative manometer for a stay right. If you're going to service your own your own stay rights, this is a positive and negative manometer. Okay, checks positive and negative pressures. You need to determine that for stay rights. You need to have that, and you need a good, not a good, but you need some kind of um, test equipment. Okay, uh, the reason why you need, need a negative manometer, and try to say that three times fast, is that if you're before the gas valve and you're checking pressures, that is a positive in manometer. Now, if you have a liquid-filled slack tube, where you put water in it and you put it on the opposite side of the gas valve, and I saw a lot of people do that, and they screw their positive manometer in there, hold it up, turn on the unit, and it sucks all the water out and goes, through the gas valve and 
and wherever. So that's why you need a positive and negative manometer to work on some of these systems to really diagnose what the problem is. So anyway, um, I hope this helps her, um, that you need to look in back of the board and then go to your manual and if it's AFSF or AGS, whatever, go to your manual. If you don't have a Stay Right manual, you can go to Stay Right. They have um, manuals in PDF form. You can download it and then you go to the codes. Okay, I hope this was helpful to somebody. This is diagnosing a problem that she's having. All right, if um, I don't think it's a safety loop issue because it tried to fire, a stay right will try the safety loop first, and then so I don't think it's in the safety loop. I think it's going to be gas valve, blower, gas valve not on. Um, shut off valve not on to the heater, um, gas valve corroded, it's not getting 24 volts, is the gas valve getting 24 volts, you might need a board, you might need a fen wall, um, then that's where you need to start going, you need to start looking for it, but you know, you got to check for 24 volts at the gas valve, gas valve might be rusty, not having good connections, is lots of things that you have to look for. This is, I mean, I could ramble on what could be wrong with this. This is just a, you name it, everything could be wrong at this point. You need to get to this point to determine a little bit closer what's going on. All right, hopefully that was some help for somebody out there on Stay Right Pool Heaters. Take care, guys. Bye.